Hello everyone, my name is William and I'm a Stratasys Application Engineer for Go Engineer. Today I'm going to show you guys how to eliminate or reduce stepping on polyjet parts. This can be done using the printer software Obdis Studio. Now in the polyjet technology it's not very common to get stepping on parts, however if you're not careful it can happen. If you're a little unfamiliar with what stepping is, it's basically a stair stepping effect alongside curves or slanted areas in a part. In the FDM technology, it actually happens along the z-axis. So if this were the platen and this were the z-axis, you could get stepping alongside this curve here. It doesn't look very nice, so it's always good to reduce it or eliminate it completely. So let's take a look at this part here. In the polyjet technology, stepping can actually occur along the x-axis. Now, most people would choose to orientate this part along the x-axis for speed reasons. It obviously lies within the first pass of the build tray, so that it'll be a fast build. However, if you build it like this, there will be stepping on the part. Now, if we go to top view, I can actually show you the areas that'll have stepping. And the areas that I was referring to are here and here. So these are the areas that will uh, likely have stepping if you build in the x-axis. Now, to give you a better understanding, I actually have a couple images here to show you um, this stair stepping effect. So I obviously built this in gloss and I built it along the x-axis and as I mentioned you can get this stair stepping effect there and you can visibly see it and obviously I tilted the part here and you can see with the glare of the light that there is in fact stepping there. Although I got stepping when I printed this along the x-axis there is a solution. Now you might think that I would have to reorientate this part in order to eliminate the stepping. However, that could give you the wrong surface finish or a much longer build. So it's actually as easy as rotating the part and I'm going to show you guys right now that if you rotate this part parallel to the Y axis, you can actually eliminate or reduce that stepping. Now if you do this, this is going to be a much longer build than before, but at least you didn't change the orientation. Also, if you want to help eliminate or reduce the stepping it's always good to you know choose matte finish over gloss I know gloss uh, you know it's it's a nicer surface finish sometimes but if you have these slanted areas or curves uh, you always want to make sure that you use matte finish to help uh, reduce or eliminate that stepping and I actually have a uh, an image here after I did this and as you can see I have reduced the stepping dramatically and the part is more accurate which is why I chose matte and you can see that uh, you no longer have that ugly stepping there. So if you want to eliminate stepping on your parts, make sure your parts are parallel to the y-axis and that you're using matte finish. Okay guys, that's the end of my tutorial. If you have any questions on FDM or Polyjet technology, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.